So you have some really important business files that you don't want anyone to see. I'm gonna show you how to create a super awesome and secure little vault that you can put your stuff into. Now, I like spy movies. I like spy movies a lot. And I've always wanted to have one of those safes that you put behind a picture frame. Using only your Mac, you can do just that and you won't even have to buy an expensive painting. Now I'm gonna skip right to the end and I'm gonna show you the result of having created a vault for yourself. Um, there's a couple of really great options that I'm gonna show you. Uh, one of them is just for regular text. Uh, I love the Notes app that comes with your Mac. Um, it synchronizes with iCloud, it syncs with your phone. Um, you can put regular text in here, insecure notes, um, and then I've also created a secure one here, and when you look at it, it says the note is locked, you need to type in the password. So I just type in my password as test, and I hit return. Uh, and in here I can have access to credit card numbers, uh, my passwords that I've saved in here, and those super annoying security questions that we now have one million of. Um, and then once you're done with this, you can make some changes, and when you're finished, you click the lock up here, and you can say, close all locked notes, and it locks it up again and keeps the information secure. So that's a great option uh, for plain text. The other one that I love is more like an actual vault where you create an encrypted disk image, which I'll explain later, uh, and then you just double click this thing here. It asks you for a password. My password is test again, and make sure that you never click this option to remember the password in the keychain. If you do turn that on, then when somebody sits down at your computer, they'll be, they'll be able to just go straight into your vault uh, because your Mac will remember the password. So it completely removes the security of your system. And then you just click OK. Now this thing shows up on the desktop. Um, I named it Open Vault, so you can call it whatever. But uh, inside here, you've got your private stuff. You've got your business files, your company financials. I have a secret love of frogs that I don't want anybody to know about. Uh, and top secret documents. You can work on things that are within here. You can copy stuff in or out. Uh, and then when you're done, you basically eject this, like in the old days with floppy disks or CDs. You just click on it and hit Command E to eject. And now you've closed the vault, closed the picture frame, and you are back to being secure again. So next I'm gonna show you how to create these things and you can pick the one that's right for you. Creating a secure note is really easy. You just go into the Notes app, and then you go to the one that you want to secure. Um, I want to secure my shopping list here. You click on the little lock up here, and you say, lock this note. And then you just choose the password that you want to use. Uh, and it's really, it says it's important if you forget the password, you won't be able to view your locked notes. You'll actually lose the information that's in the notes. So write it down. You can put it on a sticky note, stick it to the back of a a family photo or something like that um, just to keep it secure and then you go set password and so now this note is locked and then you can go to close all locked notes here to lock that up so that's a great and simple way to protect just regular plain text to create the uh, vault the disk image um, you do command space to get into spotlight and then type disk for disk utility hit return uh, then you just go to File, New Image, and create a new blank image. So you can just click on that. Um, here you can give it a name. I like to call it Picture Frame. Uh, I like to put it on the desktop, but you can choose where to put it. Now the name that it asks for here is the name of uh, the name that you see when you open it. So I'm going to call it the Open Vault. Um, and the size here, you can choose the size. It could be 100 megs, 200 megs, it could be a gigabyte. Uh, a good way to do it is to actually have the stuff that you want to secure in a folder like I did here. You can look inside there and you can see your stuff. Click on that once and then press command I to get info and it'll show you the size. So here it says it's 11 megabytes so it's not very big um, but I'm gonna go on the safe side. I'm gonna say 200 megabytes just to have room to grow. You can leave this the way it is. Um, encryption, this is the one where you can uh, put a password on it. So when you click on this, then it's gonna ask you for a password. And similarly here, uh, the password that you choose, if you lose or forget this password, you're gonna lose everything that is in the vault. And so you wanna write it down somewhere, put it on a sticky note, um, hide the sticky note in a place that you know where to find it. 
Uh, the rest of this stuff you can leave as is here. And then you just hit save uh, and it's going to create that on the desktop. So once that's done, you can quit disk utility. Um, you can open your new vault and you can put stuff in it. So you can just drag this in. Note that it copies it. So it's still sitting on my desktop here. It's still insecure. So once it's been copied here, you need to drag this one to the trash and then empty your trash to delete that fully. Um, and so then in order to secure your vault now, uh, you eject this, like I said before, like a, a CD or floppy disk from the old days. Command E to eject. And now your information is secure in your picture frame. You can double click that and type your password. Make sure that you don't click on the checkbox for remember password in your keychain. And then you can work off of anything that's inside your vault moving forward. Boom, Mac Epiphany. If you dug that and you want more, head to macandhome.com slash killer tips to grab your free ebook, the top 10 killer tips to speed up your Mac without spending a dime. It's in human language with no acronyms.